Beauty from the garden transmutes to peace of mind. This transmutation causes revolution within the gardener as they come to the realization divinity is doing its work because it simply loves doing it. The worms, birds and bees, butterflies and wild animals enjoy what they are doing. They enjoy doing. And so does the person who gardens. They are incorporated within beauty, doing for the sake of doing. The order of the garden, the design, the process, the harvest becomes secondary. Time stops. Movement, flow, doing become the wayless way. The path into the garden is the garden, and the garden is the path to really living. The gardener has found their place. They know life and death. Their minds become unified with their hearts. They understand through action how everything and everyone fits in. This is an avocation of life, and the gardener may lust for and return again and again to the depths of this experience. The great Sufi poet Rumi wrote, Out beyond ideas of wrongdoing and rightdoing, there is a field. I'll meet you there. But he wasn't speaking just about the field or the physical garden. He was speaking about love, and love which springs from Yo! beauty. This may be addictive. The garden, like a lover, ceaselessly calls, I want to see you, know your voice, recognize you when you first come round the corner, sense your scent when I come into a room and you've just left. Know the lift of your heel, the glide of your foot. Become familiar with the way you purse your lips, then let them part. No. Just the slightest bit when I lean into your space and kiss you. No. I want to know the joy of how you whisper more. When the gardener grasps a clump of moist dark brown soil, and finds an earthworm, they also find this more, the whisper of more. They have discovered part of what is called the other. This is their external reality, the garden. It is what Rumi calls the beloved. We move through our reality to a projected future from a remembered past which has been defined by writers using such phrases as in the days of yore and back in the day. They use pithy aphorisms from the past. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take but by the moments that take our breath away. Writers also quote Emerson Never lose an opportunity of seeing anything beautiful, for beauty is God's handwriting. This handwriting is always in the moment, in the now, in the instant perceptual experience. This is meditation, where the gardener doesn't force inspiration. The best that can be done is open the window and allow the breeze to enter. To develop the appreciation of garden beauty by analyzing our experience in our gardens, by more detailed examination, we open ourselves. We open ourselves to discovery and reveal how to more appreciate beauty. Yet, visual beauty is a siren for those obsessed with materiality 
their mantra is beauty is in the eye of the beholder well of course this is true we are we are beings defined by perception beings who in the majority are fixated in the visual sense yet the gardener has a different conception the idea of a unified field extends to their senses to all their senses the hollow plaintive cry of a night bird the scent of pittosporum the dampness of soil the warmth of the sun on a cool spring morning the taste of a regula these senses are orchestrated with order color and form visual excitation then integrates and melds with sound touch smell taste and kinesthetics this unification is delight as the feelings of fluidity solidity expansion ease and penetration are entered and known as reality this is delight water is alive and water is life its basic characteristic is fluidity humans immediately register the need for water by feeling thirsty the fullness of youth is opposed to the denatured shrunken aged person garden dehydration restricts beauty H. W. Yeats wrote ode to a Grecian urn which ends with these lines when old age shall this generation waste thou shalt remain in midst of other woe than ours a friend to man a friend to man to whom thou sayest beauty is truth truth beauty that is all ye know on earth and all ye need to know hey thanks a lot for watching I love gardening and I hope you can walk with me through this mystical door if you haven't already please subscribe like the video and share it with your friends thanks a lot take care